Hello, my name is Katalin and today's episode of Health Unplugged Previews, I'm very honored to have Dr. Terry Walls, Clinical Professor of Medicine at the University of Iowa and author of the Walls Protocol, founder of the oh, Walls right. <laughs> Foundation. So welcome Dr. Walls, how are you doing? Oh, terrific, very glad to chat this morning. <laughs> okay. So, Dr. Walsh, I remember quite, a, quite some time ago when I watched your story uh, in, in, the, in your TED talk. It was so inspiring for me. So, now you have come such a long way in teaching autoimmune clients. So, please tell mm -hmm. us a little update about your work in spreading the word about optimal nutrition in reversing chronic conditions. So, what have you been sure. up to lately? Uh, so. Uh, we have the clinical trial where we're testing my protocol and others with progressive MS, either with secondary or primary progressive MS, and we uh, have been following them for three years. Uh, we have a couple of papers published now uh, from the first year of experience, uh, and we're working on analyzing the MRI data on the second half. Uh, we're analyzing the videos for uh, the gate changes, and we'll be publishing those papers. We're also analyzing... Uh, the changes uh, in their thinking, uh, uh, speed, uh, recall, and uh, mood. And, you know, the preliminary looks are certainly very exciting, very positive. So we have uh, many more papers coming from that first group. Uh, then we have a uh, group of relapsing remitting MS uh, where we randomize them either to usual care or the, the study diet. Uh, and uh, we have that paper written up, uh, and uh, we're sending that out to get published. And then uh, the most exciting of all is uh, I'm uh, just starting uh, my next study, which is a comparison of the low saturated fat, the Swank diet, uh, which is what was originally uh, probably the first diet that was offered to MS patients, yeah, and uh, my uh, modified paleo diet. Uh, and Monday, we're enrolling our very first person. Mm, so uh, very we're very excited uh, to see, see how that works out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sounds very interesting. And uh, about your upcoming talk in uh, in Health Unplugged in London, are you going to share any of uh, these research, or these are too new to to share any of? Uh, uh, well, uh, I'll I'll talk. About, well, I can certainly share uh, the published articles that we have from the first twelve months data. So I'll uh, be sure and include that. We have some uh, uh, wonderful slides uh, from that. Um, and then I'm also planning on talking a lot about the microbiome because I think that's uh, a very, very exciting uh, area for uh, all of us in research right now. Mm -hmm. So for, for our audience, can you just please uh, tell a, a little bit of intro so what we can expect sure. on that day? So, uh, you know, most of us assume that we are, you know, 100% you know, human uh, and there's uh, more recognition that we're, we are a ecosystem. Uh, there is uh, uh, somewhere around 10 trillion cells uh, in your body and mine, uh, but there's also a hundred trillion uh, different uh, microbes, uh, bacteria, yeast, fungi, uh, small uh, single cell cellular uh, parasites that live on our skin uh, live in our mouth, uh, throat, uh, and law all along our gut. Uh, so I'll be talking about that. I'll be talking about some of the uh, latest research uh, that is looking at how the, this ecosystem can influence our health. And then, of course, the most uh, important question is, uh, what can we do that makes the ecosystem more unstable and unhealthy? And what can we do to make that ecosystem healthier? Mm -hmm. Wow. So uh, we are really pleased uh, that you are sharing all this uh, knowledge about this uh, important yeah. area and uh, that we can get an insight of all this latest uh, research. So are you, what is the setup of, um, of this um, uh, presentation? Are you going to take uh, questions beforehand? Uh, should you we know, collect them or we can yeah, just you know, go ahead? Actually, and I, I think that would be very interesting. If you could collect some questions, uh, then I can uh, talk uh, to those questions a little bit more specifically mm -hmm. uh, and personalize the uh, talk to your audience. So that would be great. Okay. So we'll do our best to collect some uh, yeah, questions yeah, no. beforehand. So you folks can go to, uh, to our Facebook page and post your questions there. 
So, uh, Dr. Uh, Walsh, really looking forward to welcome you on the event. Mm -hmm. It's going to be uh, a live satellite screen, transatlantic, on the 1st of November. And this is your, actually, this is your second time already, right? Taking part yes, in, yes. in this event. Yes, yes, I'm uh, looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cannot wait to hear you and, and see you there. So, looking forward. Thank you so much, Dr. Walsh, for your time for today. And You're very you. welcome. It, it, this is going to be uh, very exciting. And this really is um, in you know every week uh, breaking uh, research is coming out that is linking your gut bacteria to uh, more and more disease states. You know even schizophrenia has a different yeah. set of gut bacteria uh, than you and I. Uh, so um, I'm very pleased that our scientific colleagues are realizing. The microbes are a huge part of our health, our mood, our cognition. Uh, and then, of course, uh, the big question is what influences which microbes we have. And I'll, I'll be talking about that at length uh, so people know how to uh, cultivate uh, their microbial garden. Yeah, so it's very, very, very important topic and it's a very hot topic as well at the moment. So we are really, really pleased to, to get a deeper insight. <laughs> Uh, yes, from, yes. from your research and from your work. So do you have any uh, parting thoughts at this point uh, for our audience? Um, well, uh, sugar feeds the wrong bacteria. Uh, and I'll talk about that at length. Uh, there are uh, uh, some trends that I see out in the uh, paleo world that uh, is not so healthy uh, for our gut bacteria. And I'll talk about that, how we can inadvertently create uh, problems. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, 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 uh, just like we uh, have to tend to our gardens in which we grow vegetables, we really need to have a little more conscious thought about how to tend to that internal garden that we're growing in our gut. Yeah, and are you going to uh, shed a light on a uh, like resistance starch issue and things along I'll those be, lines? I'll be I'll be talking about resistant starch. I'll be talking about fiber, soluble fiber, mm -hmm. insoluble fiber, uh, and I'll be talking about uh, medication effects mm -hmm. uh, as well. Very interesting. Looking forward to hear that uh, your your presentation in London. So, thank you very much again. You're very welcome. And see you in London. Absolutely. It won't be long now. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Bye bye. bye. bye.